right? So politics. So we're going to talk about what it means for food to be political. Even before the 1948 Universal um, Declaration of Human Rights listed food as a human right, we understood it as such. Food is far more than just a cultural phenomenon. It is a driven, it is a driver in our major shifts in human behavior. Our relationship with food shapes who we believe ourselves to be, right? So that's a big thing. So if we have we have laws written about food, so it is political. We have to start understanding again, what does that mean? How do we construct our food system? Um, how we do that gives us clear insight into our fundamental set of economic principles, especially around the distribution of wealth along the supply chain. Remember downstream, upstream, there's a lot of moving pieces that go on to that. So there's a lot of politics going on to that. So how does that all work out? So again, it goes back to understanding our individual and collective power within the food ecosystem, right? Political actors, again, we, I say when I say actors, it's just knowing who do I have to deal with? Who am I dealing with? And so ensuring the safety of the U.S. food su supply falls to numerous federal, state, and local agencies, chief among them, I'm sure you, we've all heard of them, USDA and FDA, right? The USDA and FDA share responsibility for inspecting and regulating the production, distribution, and sale of the food in the United States, particularly food that is sold across state lines. There's more, we're gonna kind of go into a little bit what that means, but again, this is just a, to the right, it's just a description is, okay, USDA, FDA, CDC, things of that nature, and then here I've kind of, this is the breakdown of from what you guys just saw on the previous slide. So we have the CDC, the WHO, government agencies, Miami entities in particular, which a lot of us are on the call, so I'll hone in on these, right? We have the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation, specifically Division of Hotels and Restaurants, Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, Department of Health, Florida Restaurant and Lounging Association. And I listed two others which are beneficial to getting information, which is the National Restaurant Association and the Restaurant Act, right? These are all critical actors within the food supply chain. We gotta know what they're doing, right? The CDC, for example, has a whole, regu um, they've put out a whole list of things that you should be doing now that we've reopened. So these things, these are the players that you guys have to keep track of to understand, again, what you need to do in your business. <laughs> 